Hey guys, you have waited incredibly patiently for these. Here are your P1 predictions for the NXL 2017 exams. I've told you so many times before, but I am not an examiner. I do not know any insider secrets. I do not know what is going to be on the exam. I am just a teacher who has looked through the past papers, the examiner's reports and specification, sat down and had a good long think about what I think is going to come up on the exams. And these are my educated guesses for this year's exams. But please remember to revise absolutely everything because anything could come up. Now one of the things we know about physics papers is that they are very very mathsy. Yes, that maths, that happy happy maths word that so many of you love. Roughly about 20% of the P1 paper is going to be maths so the important things we need to know for this are your units. You need to know how to rearrange equations, um, you need to know how to convert um, non-standard units into standard units, you need to you need to be able to apply a little bit of logic, especially with the NXL papers. We have to write everything out fully if you want to be sure of getting all the marks. One of the things I think is going to be big on this year's paper is electricity, because this can come in in so, so many different ways. Um, especially the cost of electricity and transformers, because they didn't come up a lot last year. Another thing that didn't come up a lot last year was waves. Um, so there are lots and lots and lots of different things they can ask about waves. They can ask about the electromagnetic spectrum, the wavelength, the frequency, the uses of everything, um, the dangers of all the different parts. Make sure you can recognise um, a transverse and longitudinal wave and label all of the parts for it. Um, the other thing that they love asking is about graph interpretation. So whether it's to do with an experiment that you've done in class, or to do with an experiment that you haven't done in class, or just to do with a random situation that they made up, graph interpretation is going to be really, really important. Remember, tell the story of the line. So look at what is happening, tell the story of what happens. Does it change in any particular place? Use numbers, um, use words from the axis and tell the story of what is happening. Potential big topic, potential six markers, because LXO does like putting two six markers in each of the exam papers. Talking renewable energy or um, electricity in loads and loads of formats, so generation of electricity whether it's renewable energy, all of the different types of ways of renewable, producing renewable energy, comparing them, the uses, the advantages of each of them, and even potentially comparing them with traditional ways of generating electricity. Um, it could be anything to do with stars, or it could be anything again to do with the electromagnetic spectrum. Um, please revise absolutely everything. Don't skip anything out um, and good luck guys.